Hi guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Um, so I'm really excited. Today is my very first video filming on my new Sony ZV-1. I am beyond thrilled by it. I absolutely love it. The camera is super duper cool. I feel so much more official now that I have a real camera. And I'm really excited to continue to work with it and see if I can get some better quality stuff. So, so for today's video, I thought it would be really fun if we did something a little bit different. You'll see in the vlog that's going to be up on Wednesday, it's a Father's Day vlog because I was home with Nick this past week and we got to visit family and it was super fun. We went to my uncle's for Father's Day and I did a vlog of the day and we had such a great time and it was really cool. That's my first time ever using this new camera. However, this is my first time filming one that's going to get posted first. So here we go. And while we were home, my parents were having me go through a ton of things that I had from when I was younger and just all of my stuff. They're trying to go through everything and figure out what goes where and if there's anything I wanted to get rid of. And in doing so, I found my old iPod Nano. This is my very first little baby. It's in a case. We're going to take it out because it's obviously much prettier without the case. Don't know what I was thinking back then, Mr. Whatever, like randomly red and black rugged looking thing. But we have this beautiful, beautiful blue iPod Nano. And I figured it'd be fun if we plugged her in and we gave her a good, a good try and see like what kind of music is on it. What was I... What was 2009 Beige listening to? Or even before then, actually. I don't remember exactly how long ago it was since I got this, but yeah. Yeah, so she was the iPod Nano second generation, and she came out in September 2006. So, wow, 14 years ago. What what a time. What was 2006? <laughs> was such a... <laughs> such a... <laughs> so... Don't know if I would say times were simpler, but definitely wasn't having to worry about all the things that we are now, so. But yeah, let's let's give her a good plug in and see see what she says, see what she does. So it's probably really hard to see, but there's a little tiny like oh, there she goes, little apples popping up. She has a little like ring to her. Oh, there we go. Oh god, I missed this whole Oh, do we hear the clicks? Wild. Okay, let's see. Music. Albums. What albums we got on here? Oh. Yep. Okay. <laughs> this is so fun. Okay, so we even have, like, little music quizzes on here. We've got, like, a the little ball game that you can play with, like, bouncing things up and, like, doing that stuff. Like, literally, like, games on this thing. This is crazy. Uh, let's see, let's go. We're gonna have to pull out some headphones for this music. So, let's see. Be right back. Alright, so, found a pair of headphones. <laughs> so, we're gonna go ahead and put these guys in. What the heck? Wires? Like, I know that there are still people that use some of these with their, like, their iPhones. Because, like, the end is, like, a cord that goes, like, that works with your lightning thing. But, hey, AirPods. You're much cuter <laughs> than what we used to to be a part of. Wow, we got some we got we got some Jordan Sparks on here. She's like feeling like a battlefield. We got some old Katy Perry. There's lots of Glee on here too. Hi Glee. Very problematic. Very 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 problematic. Why do I feel like every day uh, there's a new person that comes out and there's a story about someone's a racist or somebody has sexually assaulted or been a child molester? When are we going to have a headline that that doesn't involve something like this? Can we... Why are we still... What? I don't have words. I don't have words. Glee is a very problematic show because one, one of my favorite shows of all time, for sure. Hardcore. Two, though, we had a drug overdose from Cory Monteith. Uh, we had a child kitty porn scandal with the actor that played Puck, and then we have Leah Michelle now being outed as a racist, and then we have some issues with Maya Rivera as well too. Like, hello cast, what are you doing? Why are we, why are we having these problems? One of my friends, uh, Mackenzie, said it best. We have been defending and standing Leah Michelle since 2009, and now it's like, how the fuck did you let us down? Like, we did this for you, and and, and you did that. You just, you you you, who who. 
Who gave you permission? And why would you say these things? And it's no lie, because Miss Amber Riley would not be a liar. She would not come out and say the things that she said. So. I see you. Okay, yeah. So, like, middle school me was thriving off of the Black Eyed Peas. We had some really cool shit on here, honestly. Like, I was bopping. I had a playlist called, like, On The Go. <laughs> that shit was fire. That shit was fire. Uh... Wow, we got lots of, uh, let's see, ooh, a Lemonade Mouth is on here, um, we got some Selena Gomez, some Miley Cyrus, Demi Lovato, we got some Camp Rock, representation for my musical friends, and can we talk about how fast this thing charges, like, we're talking like, boom, she was done, this thing was dead when I plugged it in. And it's already, like, almost fully charged, and we've been only sitting here for, like, five minutes. Like, okay. Speedy. Speedy fast. So, let's see if I can show you this here. Um. But, like, hello. And then we got, like, the little, like, sliding action going on. We got our little menu section here. Photos. Mm -mm, we don't need to see those. <laughs> I don't even know what, what kind of stuff I would have on here, but oh, did I take, is there notes? Did I like make some notes? Circa me like crazy. Holy sh, we had like a stopwatch on here, like a little timer. Oh, we use her to run or something. I don't even know. Oh wow, this is crazy. This is what I'm talking about. We got like the little ball game. Ooh. We're trying to like play her in the monitor. Oh, there we go. Ooh, she's good. I got it again. And again! Okay. <laughs> I'm cancelled. But seriously, like, wild to have something like that that we just, like, literally only had our music. Like, there was a time where we literally had to carry around this for music, and then, of course, it did not look like this. Yeah, you were literally just, like, on the phone with somebody, and you are like, Hey, Ashley, how's it going? Blah, 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 blah. And then Ashley decides she wants to be up. And then you're just like, okay, well, I'm done with her. Bye. And then you're just like... So satisfying, like pressing that little button, it's just not satisfying anymore. Yeah, so that was that was the the rundown for kind of checking out my girl iPod Touch here and seeing what she had to offer. She was quite cool. Thanks, girl. Hey, thank you, Focus. <laughs> yeah, so that's it for checking out the iPod situation. I spoke way too soon on the battery. I just turned it back on and it's already down to red again. So I think she's broken. I'm not sure. So we're gonna go ahead and plug her back in to do some more charging. There we go. So yeah, thanks for following along on the journey. Now, as you know, my segment usually happens only on my Friday videos, so there only would have been one of the past three that would have had it. Now, I just didn't feel comfortable doing it in my last two videos before this Universal vlog with everything that's going on right now. And everybody wants to sit here and act like it's not happening anymore. It still is. There are still people protesting. We are still finding our way through all of this and we are still working towards something so great. We have so much progress that's been happening already in terms of the fact that, not specifically with the Black Lives Matter movement, but with everything that's happening in terms of LGBTQ community members, now are able to just go to work, be employed, and not have to fear that they're going to be fired for their sexuality and their sexual orientation. And I think that's amazing. And just yesterday, we have a headline now talking about the fact that DACA is not going to be in jeopardy anymore and that Trump's malicious ways to try to get rid of that is just no more. The Supreme Court has been on our side now for these past two issues. And I'm hoping that we can see some more change when it comes to everything that's going on with police brutality and the Black Lives Matter movement. I saw that in San Francisco, they are working on basically disbanding the police department and working with people to go ahead and have trained professionals that are going to go on nonviolent calls to help with people that deal with mental illnesses and have other issues that should not be handled, in my opinion, at all by some unqualified police officer who knows nothing about that kind of stuff. It's just not fair. Then they're put in situations where 
it's not, it's not, it's not a good process for them. So I just, I just, yeah, no. And in terms of the Black Lives Matter movement, they're not quieting down. Just because you don't see it on your Facebook timeline anymore doesn't mean it's over. And you shouldn't give up. We should still keep raising our voices. We should still keep using whatever platforms we have, whatever voices that we're able to carry out to go ahead and continue this message. Breonna Taylor's <sighs> police officers that shot her and the other people involved in that crime have still not been committed. They've still not been, nothing's happened. There's been no traction there. And that's something that needs to be worked on. We're now having new cases, new people that are being killed, not just by police officers, but in the name of racism. And I think that that's horrible. So we, we need to keep raising our voices and we need to keep working at it. And that's the most important thing going on right now, honestly. Alrighty, so remember everybody, just to continue raising your voice, the takeaway from everything I was just saying was not to back down, not to be silent. Anything that you can do to help whether or not it's donations, whether or not it's being active, sending emails to people, being vocal can help. It Everything counts, everything's important. We need to keep that up. So just do not, do not stop with that stuff, guys. We got this, we can keep going. There's so much change happening and there needs to be more. We just, we, there needs to be constant change, positive, progressive change. But yeah, guys, on a little bit of a happier note, thank you so much for watching the video sticking along with me. I know I'm a little rocky. I had some weird music on my iPod. I am going to end this video and all of my coming videos from here on out until we see positive change to remind you guys to stay active, to be loud, be proud about what you believe in and fight for it. Not just the Black Lives Matter movement, everything in your life. Because if you can tell anything from these past couple days, being active and raising your voice helps to create positive change and we need to progress in the right direction and we can only do that if we all work together. So I just wanted to say thank you guys and see you in the next one.